All right, another set of looty. We are now in the bracket stage. This is winner's side, so no one here will be directly eliminated, but there will be some damage. And we have Starburst with Bagel, Biscuit, Ice, and Bran versing Bed with Brian, Twig, Sendu, and Taylor. This is a best of nine on all modes, meaning you need five games, two win, we'll be counting them on the bottom left. Normally, we see Brian flexing a bunch of backlines, Sendu does zap and a bit of tent maybe, Twig does K52 and K52 and K52, and you could probably play like Sean Splash. Taylor is generally a flexible shot, T-Tech, L3D, etc. Bran plays kind of whatever, mostly frontline stuff, bit of rapid. Uh, Ice can play whatever the fuck he wants, honestly, uh, but he's probably going to play backlines. Bagel plays mini zap, lob, and he used to play Nautilus. Big sad. Another player lost of the support category. And then we have Biscuit, the former Nautilus player, who can still play it, but primarily plays Squeezer and K52. Another player lost to the K52. Big sad. But without further ado, let's get started. Oh, wait. Biscuit. Wait. Uh, hit record. Reminded him to hit record. Okay. All right, game beginning. We are seeing a double missile, double armor comp from the side of Starburst. While we're seeing a CDS come out from Brian flexing off that roll. Ice on the Swift are going to be a little bit different here. We're not watching missiles. Thank you, spectator. Sendu with the armor trying to push it mid. Ice putting pressure with that Swiffer. Taylor gets killed by the tank missiles, unlucky. And Brian and Sendu being pushed back pretty hard here, Sendu having to back off. And we do see Biscuit on the right side taking some space with that K-Shot. Everyone set up on that tower, missiles armor come out. Ice gonna be riding the tower for today? No, no one's gonna be riding the tower for the today. Never mind, Ice will be riding tower for today, but it will be pushing up. Armor comes out on the side of dead. Ice, not able to find anyone so far. Brian going in with his team's own armor, but Taylor goes down. Brian finds one before Biscuit will be cleaning that one up. And Biscuit going for Sendu in the corner here. Does manage to find the pick before going down to Twig. Big fight in mid going off. But Twig will be surviving in middle. Going up on the right side, getting that Booyah Bomb, finds Bran, but not able to get the pick. Bran subsequently not able to find one. Biscuit Sharking, we're not watching that. Twig, going left. Mini goes down, Booyah goes onto the left side, armor comes out. You see Brian pushing up this right side, and now on this left side, getting set up. Missiles do find a kill, Bran is poking, we have Taylor getting set up here as the tower is going through. Checkpoint for bed. Armor and missiles both out on the side of Starburst, so the check has already been passed. Brian will go down, and then so will Taylor. That's going to be three down on the side of bed, and huge setup here for Starburst. Sendu has that armor at the ready. Starburst could be going with their early missile armor, finds a pick on Brian. Sendu being very patient with his own armor. Does pop it here, takes the fight, but there's two people on him. Oh, almost finds one, but it doesn't happen. Starburst will be holding for a little bit longer. Someone's got to ride that tower. There we go, Bagel on it. Gets the check. Bisk is going to be missling here, and the tower is going to the third checkpoint. Bit easier to get than the second one. It's a bit further from the spawn area. They're holding on. Didn't mean to open that map. Brian in the corner trying to survive, getting pelted with burst bombs. Does go down to them. Biscuit in the corner trying to find something. Isn't able to get it quite yet. Mia comes out to try to halt things. Thrown at the Swiffer, of course. Did you see Biscuit trying to get a pick on this side here? Brian with the armor looking to push up. Bagel in mid. Gets the pick on the Squadger, running to the left. Gonna be able to touch that tower. World Missile first. 
bomb goes off. <coughs> Talking is hard. There we go. Very clean. Nice, looking for one onto the Squiffer. Gonna be taking advantage of that jumping capability and charge hold. Put a lot of pressure up. Gonna be marking the players in bed with that point sensor. Looking to find someone on this right side. Taylor gonna be picking Biscuit before Brand cleans it up. There's a minute left in this game. And Bed is currently pretty stuck right now in their spawn, trying to find a way out. Bed using that aim storm, looking to push in here. You see Taylor going on this left side. Not able to find anything quite yet, but very close to that pack. Bagel on the tower does go down. Ice manages to clean one before going down to Sendu. Brand trying to clean up for his team, finds Twig and Armor trying to keep his team in this. Clean Sendu, can he find the third? Oh, he doesn't have ink for the burst bomb. Someone else will get it for him, though, that's okay. And he finds another on a Taylor. Brand going in, looks for the Zap. Not able to find it quite yet, can opt to simply jump. Taylor in spawn, gonna get ran at by a mini with armor. Does manage to get the pick, to help the Twig. Just get on this right side, trying to push up all the members of Starburst with double-digit KDs. Can Brand get to 20 before the game ends? Ice goes down. Tower resetting. No one even gonna bother to touch it. And that's gonna be the game. Starburst with a fairly dominant game one. TC can be very snowball-y though on the push with passive special advantage. So, not super unexpected. Hopefully, Ben can make a comeback in a future game. But those KDs, we got the 17 missile special and 10 plus kills on every player. Actually, 11 plus KA on every single player. Inspirational from Starburst. <coughs> it looks like it's going to be zones up next. Alright, Wahoo Zones, a map mode that exists in this game. Uh, we're probably going to see Brian switching to a more backline weapon, if I had to guess. Who's the score for the score for is Ice. I gotta update my scoreboard. I didn't forget. Boop. See, it's updated. Could probably see the mini coming out again. Not sure if we'll see Squiffer. Probably we'll see something like either Firefin or Jet. Uh, probably a Rapid from Bran. Sendu on 10 is indeed a possibility. Though I'm not quite sure because he is uh, their only armor player. So I'm not quite sure. But no time to worry about that right now. I was correct. We did see a backline there from both sides. Double bomb rush from the side of Starburst. Very minimal changes. Taylor going to be on the VDS for the missiles on the side of bed. Both teams going to be charging in mid. Brand farming a little bit of a bomb rush on the side. And Bagel with a very early armor. Ice finds an opening snipe onto Brian. That's going to be huge. If they can kill this CDS on the right side. No, the splash actually goes down to the x -blow. Bagel, I think, cleaned that up with the zap. Kills the other zap. Biscuit holding on. Biscuit, Bagel, and Ice all paired together. A flank from Twig will kill Ice, though. And he's going to be to keep himself alive. Going to opt to throw it at Brand, force him back a little bit. Would have preferred throwing it on this top side. We need to move Biscuit off here. They're going to use Missile for it, which I think is a little bit early. A lot of specials had to be used from bed. They do still have the armor, and I guess they have Expo Baller. Missiles and armor come out from Starburst. Ice gets picked off, and Sendu should be able to hold this bomb rush being used. We'll just farm the specials a bit. Never mind, actually, they're gonna cap somehow. Alright. Sure. 
Ryan poking Bran. Bran will be able to get the... No, he died in the air. That's unfortunate. Absolutely unlucky. <laughs> I think he just died in the skybox. Wow. Uh, Bale on this right side going to be painting an armor. We're going to watch different POV. Uh, two and three in the middle. Bomb rush comes out from Ice. Armor not ready on the side of Starburst, but they have their, you know, but they have their counter missiles, Baller, and Bria being used really fast. Zone still did flip, though. This looks like another fight that Bed will win if they're able to kill Biscuit anyway. Are they? I guess they're not. <laughs> Biscuit survives <laughs> with some help from a teammate. But still, Bed has held for a long time if they didn't lose control of the zone and got those penalties. They could have gotten so many points. And Biscuit, get the quad. Go, go in, go in, go in. No. Uh, he's going to play smart. How dare he? He's not going for it. All right. Set up, though. Ice on the left side. Let's see if Starburst will have an easier job of holding zone. They do have a little bit more... Actually, the paint's pretty... Not, not really that different. Though. They do have a bomb rush. A bomb rush, so special paint will be even better. First bomb rush and armor comes out. Missiles come out. Starburst committing three specials, but only find one of their own players down. Ice will be cleaning one up, though, making it an even fight. Bed will flip the zone before going down. It's just Brian and Sendu. And they really don't want to get staggered here. One kill will happen with a combo from the suction bomb and explode. Though Brian will die fairly late here. Armor's being used really early. They're going to push without him. Still possible. Bran almost dies to the 52 fall off. That weapon's crazy. Zone being painted. Ice finds another snipe. This time on a Taylor. Which is actually huge for them. They can afford to play this really slow, and they're going to come up on both their bomb rushes and the armor and the missile. They're just going to be able to throw specials at the zone for the rest of the match. Bed doesn't have a Booyah Bomb ready to counter it. They're going to have to just go, but Ice is just going to simply look at Brian with a laser, and he can't do anything. That stagger kill on the Taylor just won them the match. They had all the specials they needed. They could just throw them at the zone. <laughs> Nothing that could be done. Uh, if Ben was able to hold those two fights they won, they could have KO'd. That zone barely flipped that first time. So definitely was still pretty close at some points, but some really clutch snipes from Ice did save them in a lot of those fights. <laughs> I think we all love the Brian X flow. If you don't like Brian's X flow, you're, you're just... I don't know, bro. Alright, Rainmaker Starfish. This is one of Bed's better modes, I think. They do tend to play the sploosh comps. Works out pretty well for them. Starfish is a very, very close quarters combat. I always describe this as the claustrophobic stage on Rainmaker, because once the rain gets into that area in court, there's just nowhere to move and you're surrounded by high ground on literally every side of you it's a very weird stage so you know we'll we'll see what they can do here We'll see what they can indeed. What will Ice be playing today? We've seen the Squiffer. We've seen the Firefin. Are we gonna see? I don't even know. He could he could play whatever weapon he wants. <coughs> All right. We are in with another match. We're seeing the Blob Comp. Ice will be playing the 85. All right, let's go. We're seeing the Blob Comp. That is a nasty comp here. Now, of course, Bed will be winning the Pop and Mid because they have a Splushomatic. Opening pick on the try. 
not sure from who, but Brian is looking to push in here. Close to that stamp, which will be huge against Glob in particular. Shot near him, probably not the target he wants to focus. Does kill him anyway, though. Eats him or not gonna find one. His team does go down, though, unfortunately. So we're gonna be holding in mid right now. Ryan backing off here, trying to wait for someone to come back, trying on the left side. Blob gonna be pushing up with the 85. You see the Rainmaker in mid, gonna be popped very fast by Starburst, even with all the bombs coming out from bed. And we are sitting in mid. More or less just waiting for an opening. Ice looking for someone. Brand pushes this right side, gets a little bit of space. Taylor knows where he is, but isn't able to hit him. Neither is Brian! Really clutch double, but Twig somehow finds the kill, even though he gets dived. He's not even dead yet. How did that 52 not die? What the hell? I think he had like 10 missiles on him too. And that's gonna be a 30 point push. That could have been a lot worse. I expected that to be a lot worse, but dead defense. Ryan almost gets picked, the burst bombs and blob is forcing him off there. Even a sploosh, the most mobile weapon in the game, has to surrender to the blob and burst bomb combos. Hammer comes out, not able to find any. They are able to triple team it. They're gonna counter armor right now. Biscuit pushing Taylor into the corner, trying to find something, but he's pretty weak. Has to back off. Sendu with the assist. Does find a pick, it's a Biscuit fighting him, does have his missiles for the advantage. They do hit him and he cleans it up. Brian goes for Biscuit and is able to trade. We have Ice, Sendu, and Twig remaining with Brand coming in to help pretty damn quickly. Bagel's coming in too. We are ready for Twig. His wall gets obliterated. Should try some of that sub power up, I recommend it. He's gonna be in bed here. Sprinkler comes out, will actually deal some damage to the Booyah Bomb, being useful for the first time in years. So we're gonna be painting up on the left side here, Bomb Rush coming out in mid from Bagel. Wait, gonna have to back off, Brian dies to the missiles, and Biscuit on this left side. Starburst could set up for a top left push, but he needs some help with the Kegel. Will find it, can Bagel make the jump? Taylor goes to interfere, but it's a bit too early. Bagel doesn't get it, but he can run through middle. Almost gets more points. It's right up there. Bed gonna be forcing this pop. As the Blob's dead, can't have that bomb rush to force it anyway. Bran drops, but we'll be able to get out of there. We'll have to give up a little bit of ground. Brian on the right gonna be hammering in, but not able to find anything either. Biscuit goes for a pick on a Taylor, and Ice grabs, moves it two centimeters closer. But more importantly, keeps a Rainmaker there. Biscuit can grab it. Will he dunk it? No, not the objective play we'd like to see today. But that will be an extended lead all the way to three. And Bed's gonna need a massive push if they wanna turn this game around. Ryan painting up in the mid there, getting ready for that insta pop. Or not, he's gonna go for the pick on the ice. I don't think anyone expected that. And it works out, too. That's their first opening pick they need. Starburst goes another down with Brand. This is the opportunity for Bed. They're trying to get in, but still not finding much ground. Flank from Biscuit will trade with Brian. Bagel set up on this left side. I don't even think he needs to move from this position. Like, at all. I think he can just stay here. Twig putting an end to that. And finds the kill on a biscuit. And the Rainmaker is ready to make the top left jump. And Twig is in their spawn. But Ice is not taken care of. And it's gonna be just Brian will go down. Biscuit, do something for the camera, please. Give me a picture. I don't know. And we're, we're watching Biscuit camp the Rainmaker. Woo! And there it is. That will be bed down 0-3 in the playoff stage, getting dangerously close to being sent to the loser's bracket. <coughs> nice.
Ice showing from Starburst, as usual. You're on. CV Snapper. The only mode we haven't seen yet. A potential big momentum game if Bed can get the W. So when they be in Grands, they can still meet in Grands. There is a loser's bracket. So they can meet in Grands if whichever team loses just sweeps loser's bracket. So it is still very possible. Also, yes, this is a best of nine. First to five will take the W. Welcome in bees, thank you. I was responding to a YouTube comment. I do check him. Brian going for the bamboo. Love it, we have not seen a lot of lately. Bamboo V Squiffer. Taylor does not see the Squiffer, but Ice not able to find it. Does unfortunately get picked off. Does be like that sometimes. Biscuit goes down on the 52, and Brian's gonna be pushing trying to help his own 52. And that is a very clean opening for bed. Set up in middle here. Ria coming out from Twig with the score. They're not going to be able to shred it. But the other 52 wall does block it. Surprised he didn't throw it up to try to stall for more time. Bagel drops and gets two. Gets three. Give him the quad. Come on, let Bagel get it. I don't know if he got it. No, he didn't get it because he only has three. Unfortunate. But still gets three. Good triple. Starburst set up in mid. Bagel with the missiles, all of bed are clumped up right now, so that's going to be a really effective missile. I am very surprised Ice didn't die to that bomb. That was scary. Oh, no! No! Starburst! What happened? No! That's so sad! They both missed! And even though they win the fight, they don't have any clams anymore. They're gonna have to wait. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Aw, oh, you hate to see it. All right, though, Starburst still holding ground, though. Not, not the worst thing in the world to happen. Ben has the lead, but they can push. Ice has the armor. He's gonna be going in for those aggro scuffer plays. Maybe. Now he's gonna have to be black, but. We got us find one. He's going in for the score. They get it this time. Pick happens. Taylor on the flank. Last one alive. Trying to get another angle to approach from. They do notice him. But Biscuit goes down. Taylor can maybe even clean Brand. He gets two. Going for the squiffer. Doesn't get him, though. Ice will be finding a cleanup kill. Not able to quite reach the bamboo. That slight range advantage. Making its presence felt. Twig goes down. Brian finds the pick, though. And it's just Brand. Starburst is the lead, but it's not a big one, especially factoring in their push. Brand gonna be having a party on the top of the map <laughs> before eventually going down. Will be a bit staggered, but... Bagel with the mini will be really showing some extra range there. Shot ain't doing that. And he's gonna force the jump out from the gal. Ice goes down, though. Twig and Taylor both being missile trying to hold here. Sendu coming in to assist them. Bed still holding these sides. They have so many clams. If they can push, there will be so many points. Taylor finds the pick onto Bagel, barely staying out of range. And that Squiffer probably just wants to inkjet it, honestly. Pack on the Squiffer. Ice is in no man's land. Does go down. 
A lot of points from Ben. That is the lead, as predicted. Taylor going for a few more points, getting into the 19-point marker. And they still have a Pity Clam. Taylor going for more. Oh, oh and they jumped the Pity. Okay, I do not think that was a good idea. Ben could have actually been very threatening with that Pity Clam. But now, because they don't have it, Starburst is going to be actually having the special advantage. If they just held that Pity Clam, they could have neutralized it and forced Starburst to hold two. But because they don't have a Clam of their own, Starburst is going to be getting the passive special advantage this entire time. Which will make it a lot more scary. And Starburst is set up here with those specials coming online. Ryan Missling to try to slow things down. Both the power clams in mid. Starburst has all the map, all the specials for this play to happen, but it's being walled out. Taylor trying to get a bomb kill. Does find it. And that's one of the footballs dropping on the floor. Ice able to salvage it. But the score does not happen with the two players down. We're seeing an even fight right now. Biscuit trying to get a pick on the inkjet and vice versa. Neither of them get it. Clam set up at mid. Bagel goes down. The big flank that they need. Ice goes down. There's only two remaining. Biscuit getting a pick to try to clutch it up. Camera view automatically changes to the next fight. Twig cleaning that one up. They still have a football. It is still possible. Bagel on this right fighting the Kegal. Both of them spraying. Not able to hit each other. The ball goes down. They have no time left. Twig making sure... Bagel doesn't do a little sneaky flank here. And that'll be Bed putting themselves on the board with a win on Clam Blitz. And that'll be one to three. <coughs> I just spilled water on my shirt. Nice. Good job, Chara. Good job. It's okay. It's white. It, it, it's, it's fine. Number five, we got the Expo coming out. We're back to zones. Starburst going back to that Fire Fin comp. A little bit standard for either team. Starburst looking to recover from that game loss while Bed is looking to continue their momentum. And it's time to watch the Zap Farm armor. There it is. Armor and missiles. We do see Brian on top trying to pressure Ice. Gets one hit on someone. Forces them out. But Ice will be finding the snipe. Finds another on Ascendu before going down. And Bagel on this right side trying to hold 1v1 with the Kegal. Ooh, one hit off for either player. But the Kegal will be finding that second shot before the Zap finds its fourth. Twig set up on this right side, painting around, has the Booyah Bomb at the ready to push this. Bomb Rush comes out, Booyah will be in time to counter, or, or just throw it at them, that works too. They might be able to hold anyway, that might actually be better, because now they're going to be able to farm specials off that bolt of Bomb Rush. Wait, Starburst has used both Bomb Rushes, and they did not get a cap or any mid control. This is actually huge. Twig going a little greedy trying to rotate. He's so close to that Booyah. I just want him to get a Booyah, dude. They have a kill in the splash. He just needs Booyah. I think Booyah is a game-winning special right now if they just farm it. 
The shot goes down, though, and the zone flips. Damn, that was... I'm kind of surprised. I really thought Bed could have held that. They had the specials. They still have them. They're going to be able to counter push pretty quickly. Wall gets shredded. Still should have some of that sub power. I'm going to advocate for that as long as I can. Biscuit finds a kill on the Brian, pushing this left side onto the zap. Not able to find it before going down. Bed still has two alive. But Taylor jumps in front of Ice, and Ice is not missing that shot. Finds the pick. Exploit going to be contesting the zone. Ice is so close to that bomb rush. Finds a kill on a twig. And Starburst is once again, this is looking like Wahoo all over again. They have the double bomb rush for sustain. And they're going to have the missile. Only difference is Bed is going to have specials to fight back this time. Guya is going to be ready. Explo contest. Both armors get broken by the charger, but no picks. Shot goes down. They need to paint the zone, and they're not able to contest it, even with the number advantage. Bed will very narrowly not be able to cap it there. That very well could have gone to Bed's side. Like with Wahoo, I felt like they were in a situation where they really could have held that zone. I kind of wish the Booyah was just prioritized a bit more. Like, if he just farmed that Booyah, they would have had so many specials and Starburst would have only had one bomb rush to push in. I felt like they would have won that fight and won the whole game. I, I feel like that was so close to being in their favor. That's really unfortunate. <coughs> Once again, though, Ice finds the picks where it matters with Charger. That's why he is the best. So when those team fights happen, he's able to find those kills. Alright, though, Bed may be on the back foot, but the game is not over. It is best of nine. Game point. They won Clam Blood Sniper. <coughs> All right, and Starburst going with the double armor Nautilus K Pro. We got two fighting weapons and two supports. I wish it was double not double zap, but it's okay. Still pretty good. Bamboo going to be the biggest problem. For them to deal with in this comp here, gonna be a bit pretty hard counter to, well, everything really. But they do have specials to deal with. The inkjet comes out. Sendu gets a little bit stuck. Somehow survives. We have thrown at him too, but he's alive. They're gonna be holding. Getting set up right now. Via bomb comes out from Twig onto the tower. T-Tech does go down, though. We do see Starburst set up Biscuit ever close to that game-winning inkjet. Go back to Biscuit. Go back to the inkjet. Go back. Thank you. I want to watch the pack. Hey. Biscuit might be able to find one on the Sendu. Not quite. Does recall there. Brian finds that pick. Though their gal also goes down. This is still a 3v3. Still perfectly winnable for Starburst, especially with the special advantage that tower does provide. Brian goes in for the pick, but not able to find it. Bagel holds on and will touch the objective. Brand dies before he can get his Rhea off. Biscuit will clean it up. The armor is going to come out for the zap, but the notch is going to shred. And now it's Sendu's turn to die in the skybox. Unlucky. Taylor tries to find something, isn't able to get it. The fall-off shots don't find a pick. Tower Rider does go down, but so does Taylor to the Inkjet. Biscuit to the Bamboo. Brian to the K-Pro. Ice kills uh, the other player. Can't keep track of everything. Uh, but he's on the tower here. Bran trying to take the office space that they need. Gotta set up that new business and the tower on the side there. 
twig pushing in. Goes flanks the tower, finds the pick. Does go down to a bomb, but with a 3v2, this should hopefully be Fed getting out of there. POV, get off the tower. We can't see anything. Thank you. Biscuit finds one. He finds two. Sort of. Close enough, honestly. Uh, he's going in with the pack. Looking for a third. Wall comes out. The K-Gal is just not going to be a target unless he steps ahead of the wall. He does, but the Jet's not going to be able to find anything. Twig has the Booyah at the ready. Starburst still in control of the tower. If Fed is not able to get them away from that thing, they are still going to be winning the special advantage fight. They gotta go. They have a pick. They gotta get something else. Some space. There's another pick. Suction Bomb barely clips Twig. But finally, Bed will have mid control. Able to get tower. Bagel finds a pick though on Ascendu. Almost finds Taylor. And Ice is actually back capping the tower. This is an Overwatch. What the hell? Okay. Ice does a little funny and just stalls the tower for a bit. Because why not? Taylor gets a pick on a Baran before going down. Biscuit on top. Going to be painting the zone. Or painting mid. There's no zone there. Hello. He's going to be firing onto the 52. Gets the pick. Looking for another... Not able to quite find it yet. Pushing up here. Armor gets broken. Two of them on top. Goes for the zap. Finds it. Armor comes out from bed, but it's not going to save anyone. HN looking for picks. Biscuit on one HP. Able to stay alive. Bagel finds a kill by throwing a suction at the HN landing. Pops his own armor. Pushes up here. Or is just gonna hold the fan. Why not? We have the tower. We have the 4.5 points for special per second. I'm a nerd. We get, we don't have to play it like very aggressively. We can just hold mid. And they're gonna do that. Here comes the inkjet. He is asking someone to shoot the fan for him. They do. Good teammates. But it took a little bit of time out of the pack, so that's kind of unlucky. Biscuit gonna be setting up here. Brian with the missiles. Trying to put some pressure on the middle of the map. Everyone's still alive right now. Opening pick goes to both sides with the trade. But Bagel, I mean, sorry, Biscuit also goes down. Haha, uh -huh, two Nautilus players. Anyway. Bagel flanks the tower. Gets one. Does go down. And Ben will be getting points on the board. Are we going to see the hypest overtime comeback of 2022? Keep in mind the year is two years old. But we'll see it anyway. There's the first pick from Taylor. The spectator cam hates watching the fun second inkjet kill. Why? Spectator! Alright, we do get to see Twig hold the Booyah Bomb for 10 seconds, though. Well played. That Booyah almost finds someone. Ben has the armor. A second inkjet from Taylor, but this time, there's a response. They get a pick. Sendu gets pushed off. Has to touch again. Bagel gets it. And that's going to be the game. A shame. Spectator Cam absolutely hates watching anything fun and would rather sit on the objective. But regardless, that's going to be Bed going down. Fairly close games, though. I think Bed had some really good moments. If they were able to just do a tiny bit better in some of the fights, I feel like they could have had more games on this set. I think they still did overall pretty well. Starburst is a tough team. But that will be... 5-2, or sorry, 5-1. I can't read. And that'll be the match. There's another set at 3 EST. I could cast it, if y'all are okay with it. Alright, so that'll be Starburst taking it 5-1 to one over bed. GG's to all. And by the way, everyone in my chat, Biscuit said he would actually upload this set. I told him to record it yesterday. And he said he would record it. I reminded him. He recorded it. If that video is not up, I want you guys to never let him forget about it. More than when he said he would cut off all his hair. Do not let him forget to upload this set. Ask him about it. If he makes a tweet, ask him about it. Be like, hey bro, is that set on YouTube yet? I really want to watch your POV. Because you do. You want to watch Biscuit. You want to go sub to his YouTube channel. And with that being said, I'm going to raid Biscuit and I want all of you to tell him to... Remember to upload the set. Every single one of you, get on this raid. If there's less than 154 people, I am disappointed in you. 
Tell him to upload the set. Everyone tell him. Just say upload right now. Do it. <coughs> you didn't end it. No way. No. I just raided you with a hundred people. Get back online. I had a hundred raiders. Get back. I had a hundred raiders. 